Most people associate director Masaki Yuasa with his work on the Anime Devilman Crybaby, so hearing he recently directed the film Inuo might come as a shock to many. There is no human who unites with a demon to save the world from destruction in Inuo, but there's quite a bit of music. The film is a rock opera set in the 14th century, centered on a blind musician named Timona, and his titular dancing partner Woe's been left deformed by an ancient curse as they follow their dreams on the stage. Despite being Yuasa's only musical to date, Inuo was his first film to be showcased at the Venice Film Festival in TIFF, before premiering in select theaters in mid-August. Luckily, Screen Rand was able to speak with Masaki Yuasa, with the help of a translator, about his new movie Inuo, adapting to changes in the animation industry and capturing the art of performance in his story. I love that Inuo continues to explore themes like transformations, generational issues, marginalization, etc. What was your thought process behind showing entire songs or dances and putting so much energy into them? It's rare to see that in an IME or any medium. Character movement is obviously important to you, so I'm intrigued by how differently you capture how performers move in Inuo in relation to how you depict movement in Devilman Crybaby, for example. The movements, thought processes and approaches are obviously very different. Why is that? You've mentioned before how it's not your place to tell viewers how to feel, but I would love to explore a scene with you that was clearly made to elicit a strong emotional response. Without giving too much away, it's when Inuo and Timona first meet and start jamming together on the bridge. Why did you decide to depict it the way you did? I'm absolutely fascinated by how traditional Japanese instruments like the biwa are incorporated into the modern songs in the film. These moments juxtapose with the more traditional Sarigaku performances in the movie. What gave you this idea? You've spoken in past interviews about how you adapt when animation tools change. What are some new tools that were used in Inuo and did they change how the film came together? That was my last question, but I wanted to end by saying that I appreciate your philosophy on work of not pushing yourself or your staff too hard. There are many mangaka I'm a fan of who get sick often, so I really appreciate that you have that mentality. Inuo Synopsis Inuo is born with unique physical characteristics, and the horrified adults cover his face with a mask. One day, he meets a boy named Timona, a blind biwa player, and as Timona plays a delicate song, Inuo discovers an incredible ability to dance. Check out our other anime film interviews, such as with Bubble director Tetsur Maraki and Dragon Ball Super, superhero voice actor Tashio Furukawa. Inuo is currently playing in theaters.